Hey guys, all that War 76 here, bringing you my first video in a series of tutorials for Surviland. It's a new survival game. Um, it's currently early access in alpha phase. You can get it on Steam. Um, basically, this is the most realistic survival game out there, at least as far as I know of. I'm starting on a brand new game right now with nothing just to show you. Um, basically, this is going to be a a little guide for making the uh, tools you can make by hand. I'm going to make a few guides um, showing you other things, but we're going to start off with the tools first. So once you go in, you're going to get this little tutorial here. I suggest that you go through it. Um, but real quick, let's start showing you what we can make. So everything's going to be based around these stones. Um, I believe this is limestone here. Let's see. Yeah, this is limestone and this is uh, basalt, I believe you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Um, this one is tougher, so you're going to want to use it. You're also, you're going to notice that there's quality. Um, it has hardness, toughness, and quality. The quality is going to affect, I believe, how long it actually lasts. But in the beginning, that's something you're not really going to worry about. So um, the stones break down. Um, it starts off as a stone, and then when you break it, it turns into slate. I'll show you real quick. So that turns into slate, and then from there, it turns into a stone bar, and then from there, it turns into shards, which are not in the game yet. I'm not sure what they'll be. Maybe they'll make a slingshot or something. Maybe there'll be some type of ammo. Who knows? But um, first thing you're definitely going to want to make is an axe head. And to do that, you're going to need to grind a piece of slate. So you bring up your... Oops bring up your crafting menu. I didn't mean to do that. Actually, let's start on a different one because that's going to be weaker since I hit it. Let's turn that into slate. Okay, and then we'll go into our crafting menu. And um, for the axe, you're going to grind it. You're not going to nap it. So you're going to grind. And as you can see, that turns into a stone axe head. And what is this right here? So this is another piece of slate. Um, can't remember. Snapping, turn it into the knife, the blade. Okay, so yeah, um, that broke. I'm still in crafting. So yeah, um, you grind it into an axe head or... Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, why did I just uh, forget what that was? What that was called? Nap. There we go. So nap turns it into the um, blade, and grind turns it into the axe head. So you're definitely gonna need these two items here, and you can um, put them into your pants pockets as well. <clears throat> So we made uh, the axe head and we made the blade. So now we're going to make a chisel. Actually, let me drop these on the floor. I'm going to put them all in a little line here. So I know where everything is. Okay, so we need a bar. And we need to grind the bar in order to make a chisel. So there is our chisel. Pick that up and put it away. And um, is this a slate? Okay, we'll make a the head of a hoe. So to do that, you're going to want to um, put your chisel in your left hand and have a stone in your right hand. So you open up your crafting menu. And uh, what did I need to do again for this? I need to chisel this. So we're going to chisel. Okay, so that's the hoe head. And I'm going to put that away and I'm going to drop this stone, pick this up and put this right over here with my other stuff. And the last thing um, is going to be a hammer head. So I actually didn't even need to drop that. And to make a hammer head, you're going to chisel a stone.
Okay, so that's done. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Put that away, we'll drop this, pick that up, and put that right there. So these are the basics, the very like bottom bones basics. Now you could put these, like turn them into actual tools. So um, I'm gonna take this out of my inventory as well. So I have enough room for this ax head when I need to put it away. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get large sticks and small sticks. So we can start uh, crafting these items. So that is a long stick right there. I'm going to actually get a few of these. But uh, let's get these small sticks right now. And this is how you get them. You just break down branches. going to need any more than four. Let's just put these down over here as well. You could stack them as well, but since I'm right here, I think it's just quicker to just grab one in each hand. Okay, so now that we've got uh, some of the basics here, we are going to want to find some fibers. Now, most of the trees here are going to be coconut palms and banana trees. And you see how they look? This is the one that you're looking for, and I'm really fortunate that I started a new game and had one right here. This is called the fan palm. Um, in the tooltip says it contains a great amount of palm fiber at its top. Now, to tell them from the other ones, they all have stripes on them, but this one is like really striped. Um, so it's a lot easier to spot than the others. You know, you got your banana tree with some bananas in there. But uh, let's cut this down. And we're going to grab those fibers. And once I get these fibers, then we'll get to crafting these tools. Any farming I need to do, if it takes a long time for other stuff, uh, I'm just going to fast forward which I'm actually probably going to have to do grabbing these fibers because I can only take uh, two at a time. Just waiting for my uh, stamina to regen. Let's go at it again. Why does it never fall in the direction I want it to? Uh, I don't want to hit the leaf. That's what I want to hit. This is where all the fiber is. I wait for that stamina again. It gets much quicker once you actually uh, craft the axe. It doesn't take this long. Alright, look at all that fiber. Let me just check something. Yeah, this is almost, if you're looking at that bar, this is almost halfway gone. So, since we have stuff here, might as well just make a new one real quick. Okay. Put that away. Grab some of these fibers. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to speed this up as I grab the rest of these fibers. Okay, so that's probably all I'm going to grab for now. Um, I really only need one piece of fiber for a torch. And I'm going to need a few pieces of rope, but this should be more than enough. So once you have your fiber, you're going to want to go ahead and craft some rope. So you're going to go down to spin. I'm going to make at least three. So I know I have enough. Okay. 
Okay. So the first thing we're going to make is a uh, pickaxe. So what we need to do is chisel one of these small sticks. Let me equip that and drop that. We're not going to need that right now. Where is my chisel? Wait, is that my chisel? Yes. So we're going to chisel the end here. Put that away and drop this and that's going to make a kelt handle and what we're going to do is we're going to put the stone axe head basically what you're going to do is you're going to go oops i put it away by accident you're going to go into your crafting menu and you're going to hover over it and you're going to drop it right on that spot and once you do that you grab your rope and you tie it Okay, so that is your axe right there. Uh, what do we make next? Let's make a... Let's see. I think a torch. We'll do the torch because the torch is very useful. So for that, you're going to just grab a fiber. You're going to drop it on the end. Grab your rope. And tie it. So there's your torch, and if you're out of the crafting menu, um, you hold E over it, and it's going to light it, and then you can uh, pick it up, and what is it, Q, I believe it is? Yeah, if you hold down Q, you could place it if you want as well, and if you hit this little button, it looks like a recycle symbol, and hold down E, it'll turn it off, and it'll take it out of its uh, position where it was standing up. So now we got the pickaxe, which is probably the most useful in the beginning, and the torch, which is definitely going to help you out at night. Um, I'm sorry, not the pickaxe. We made the axe. We made the axe, not the pickaxe. Let's make the hammer next. So to make a hammer, um, you're going to need to cut a stick on one end. So let's do that. And we'll drop that. And that is going to make a wood handle. Then you're just going to grab a stone. And you're going to drop that there. Oops. Drop it there. Grab your rope. And tie it. Probably wondering why I made that hammerhead. That is for another tool. Another hammer, actually. So there's our hammer. We're going to put that here. So that is done. Um, I don't want to make the the ones that take the, the large sticks yet. So the only one that's left that I know of, I'm sure there's other tools, that would be the, um, the pickaxe. So for that, we're going to need to chisel the end. that away. I'm actually going to... Actually, no, I'm going to need that. Is that a slate? Okay. We're going to make another uh, chisel. <laughs> it broke. Oh, man. Is that a stone? Oh, man. That's going to take a while. Hopefully this doesn't break. Can I get it? There we go. Oops. Is that two of them? Oh yeah, that's two. Okay. So we're going to need to grind the bar to make another chisel. Alright. Let me take a look. Let's see. That's 34 quality. Alright, so we're gonna. We're actually gonna use the old one. 
because we're not going to use the pickaxe at all, and we're going to use that chisel quite a bit. Where did that stick go? Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, it is a Keltandle, just making sure. So you just drop it there. Grab your rope. Tie it up. And there is your pickaxe. Okay, so we have the pickaxe, we have the axe, and we have the hammer. So that is it for the um, one-handed tools, at least the one-handed tools that I know of. Um, the next, we're going to go into the two-hand tools. Um, you get the wood hoe, you get the great axe, the great hammer, the wood spear, and the stone spear. So that is a total of five tools, and as you can see, I only have one large stick. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get some more sticks so yeah from this point I'm gonna fast forward a bit until I have another four of the large sticks and I'll be back actually you know what before I do that here's a tip for when you're starting out let's put this Ah, whatever. We'll just put it right there. I'm going to make another axe head. And I'll show you why in a second. The reason why is you can store it in your pocket. And the uh, large sticks take two hands to carry. So if you're carrying that axe, you're going to have to drop that axe each time and run back and get it. So here it wouldn't be too bad because there's two sets of branches. But um, after I got the last one, I'd have to run back and grab it. So it's much easier to do it this way. It takes a little bit longer to break it down, but it's worth it. Oh, is it the stick already? I didn't even realize that. Okay, so from this point, I'm going to fast forward until I have a total of five sticks there. Okay, so now we have five, and we can start working on some stuff. So, um, out of all of these, I think that the Great Hammer is probably uh, the most useful. Because um, if you want to make things out of stone, you don't need a ton of stone, and you could break these down really fast. I thought the pickaxe would be better, um, unless I made one with bad quality. I only made one, and I didn't use it after, but the great hammer just went through it so fast. Oops, did I just... I just put that in my pocket. So you're going to want to take a stone and place it right on the end, grab some rope, Oh wait, nope. That uh, that's wrong. That is wrong. Not any stone. You're gonna want that uh, hammerhead. Now, where is that hammerhead? Where did I put it? <laughs> oh man, that's the hoe, that's the blade. I had everything. Did I lose this thing? I was doing it. Is that it? No. It's doing everything right here. I thought I placed like everything here originally. Okay. I guess we're just going to make another one. But I'm going to need another regular stone. In order to chisel. Okay, so we're going to grab this in the right hand, put the chisel in the left hand once again, even though we already did this. 
chisel this to make the hammerhead. Put that here. Grab our rope. And tie it up. And there you have yourself a great hammer. Um, does pretty uh, decent damage to these. Even though it doesn't look like much if you're whacking at it with other things. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, so that is the great hammer. Um, actually, another one that's really useful would be the wood hoe. So in order to make that, we're just going to tie on the head to the stick. So is that it right there? Yeah. Okay, so that is your hoe right there, and you're gonna use this to dig. Um, you can make like base foundations out of stone, wood, or dirt. So this is gonna get you that dirt. Basically just dig down, it's gonna make these piles of dirt. Okay, so the next, we'll make a, we'll make a great ax. In order to make that, we're going to need to make a uh, kelt shaft. And to do that, we're going to have to chisel a long stick. Doesn't look like the right end. I think that's the right end. Yep, there we go. Oh, you know what? I don't know if we have another axe head. So let's just grab this and make one real quick. That's slate. Okay. We're going to place that there. Get some rope. If I could pick it up. And tie it. Uh... Oh wait, no, we don't tie it. <laughs> we hammer it. My bad. And there's your uh, great axe. Use the chop. Okay, so that is that. And um, the next one we're gonna make is the wood spear. I don't even recommend making it or using it. I'm just making it for to show you guys. Um, because you can make the stone spear, and the stone spear is much better. So in order to make this, you're going to need to cut both ends, and you need to tie the middle. So let's grab our blade right here. We're going to cut this end. Cut that end. Uh, grab our rope. I'm going to grab it. Eh, might as well. I don't know if this is going to last, if this will tie both. Let's see. I did quite a bit of tying with this already. Oh, we got lucky. So you tie both ends, both middle parts, and... Oh, that was it. It just wore off. And then you have your wooden spear. Um, I don't know if there's any use for this yet. I don't know if there's any combat. I just started playing this yesterday. Um, I know they're going to be adding in... AI animals. I don't know if there are any in now. Um, so that is the wood spear. And uh, the last one for now, for this video anyway, is going to be the stone spear. To do this, we're just going to tie the stone um, blade on the long stick. So we're going to take that. We're going to place that there. And where did I throw all of that? Here we go. Here's the ropes. And then we're going to tie it. And you have yourself a stone spear. Now these are pretty good for getting bananas out of trees. Um, but I think you should be able to reach most with like a regular axe. But if you can't, this would be nice to use. And if you, you can also store it on your back, like if you put it away. 
so that'll stay there so yeah remember your pockets there are things you could put in there you could put in um two chisels three chisels three um blades two chisels and a blade whatever you want to do or you know one of each a stone axe head um there's no real need to carry the head anymore um you could also put this here in your shirt um, you could also craft the backpack. I'll be getting into that a little bit later, but I just wanted to show you uh, the basics of the tools. I highly suggest um, making the whatchamacallit, making the, the axe first, because the axe you're really going to need more than anything. I wouldn't bother with the rest. The axe and the torch I would make, because you can see the torch is going to come in really handy right now, especially since it's uh, getting dark. Yeah, because I could hardly see now. I don't even know where I put it. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. So you're definitely going to want some light. You could also make a fire. I'll probably uh, show that in the next video, though. The next video I plan to do is going to be, you know, food basics. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll probably do the fire. And I'm probably going to do some, like, protective gear. Like, you know, a rain hat and, and the other stuff. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this one.